Hey College and Career Success, welcome to week two. Hopefully you are accustomed to kind of navigating around. Um, week one went pretty well, so if you have questions, please feel free to reach out. I am splitting up this week into chapter two assignment video and chapter three assignment video, just to make it a little easier. So you, if you haven't already, go ahead and to week two and watch the chapter two lecture and the chapter three lecture, as those are the basis for the assignments for this week. So let's go ahead and look into week two. So as a snapshot, you can see this is everything we were doing, although I'm gonna really just go into detail this week, or this video rather, on chapter two. So you do a chapter two skills survey, just like as a quick self-reflection to see how you feel right now compared to how you feel at the end of the chapter. Chapter two discussion, mind you, you also have to do a chapter three discussion. So both of those will be due by Wednesday for week two attendance. So please make sure you post in both your original response by Wednesday, even though in this video, I'm just going to go into detail on chapter two. You have two chapter two assignments, a chapter two quiz. There's that chapter three discussion, chapter three assignment, and a chapter three quiz. So that's everything you're doing this week. This video will just talk about chapter two. So as I mentioned, please make sure you spend some time in chapter two, whether that's the actual textbook, the slides, the video, so that you're comfortable with the content for the basis of these assignments. So week two assignments, again, the chapter two skills survey is just to see how you feel now, and then again at the end of the chapter to see if you changed or reflect on anything. All right, chapter two discussion. This is due by Wednesday, along with your chapter three for your week three attendance. Your week two attendance is based on posting in both forums by Wednesday. Respond to two classmates by Sunday in each forum, so four responses total. So this chapter talks about learning, um, learning styles and preferences and approaches to learning. Because Amanda is struggling in her history class, she is good at remembering dates and facts, but she has to actually analyze cause and effect events in this class. She's not sure how to change her learning strategies to meet her professor's requirements. What advice would you give her? So basically it's asking like, what tips would you give her to change her study tips, <clears throat> study strategies? Uh, what resources would you direct her to? What kind of questions would you ask her to make her think differently so that she's able to not just simply regurgitate dates and facts, but she's able to look at events in that cause-effect relationship. Please make sure that you have your post 150 words or more. If you're a little under, I don't take points off, but if you're significantly under, I do take points. All right, so make sure you post by Wednesday for weekly attendance. <clears throat> okay, so your chapter two assignment, the first one, Mindset for Success, it's gonna open up, and you're gonna see right here these statements that are considered fixed statements that like, no matter what you do, nothing's going to change, that's fixed. What you are going to do is turn them into a growth mindset. So here's the example. This is a worthless task. By doing this, I can focus, you know, practice focus and discipline. My professor doesn't like me. Well, with a conversation, I can get to know my professor better. You know, if this is too hard with time and energy, like how would you basically make these into more growth mindsets? This one repeats, don't worry about that down here. This one right here, I'm just not good at, think about it, whatever it is that you kind of can relate to. Like, I'm not good at math, I'm not good at writing. So take the fixed mindset and turn it into more of a growth mindset. And, and a statement that shows that you have the ability to improve. When you're done up here, you'll here with your changes, you're going to save it somewhere. Go into the Dropbox, click upload file, browse, find it, and open it and hit submit. All right, so that is the mindset for success. Again, chapter two talks about growth mindset, so go ahead and revisit that if need be. Next one talks about goal setting in chapter two, 10 and 25 years from now. So you're going to open this and you're going to pretend you're running into your teacher 10 to 25 years from now. So here's the 10 year column, here's the 25 year column. What is your life going to look like in terms of education, relationships, financial status, living environment, and other? I've had students talk about like how many pets they own, how many side gigs they have, that kind of thing. If you can't think of anything, that's okay. But you're going to do it for 10 years and then again for 25 years. If it gets real small, that's all right. I can open it up and see it better. When you're done, again, download and save it, upload it into your Dropbox. All right, and the last thing for chapter two is your chapter two quiz. It's gonna open up into a Word document. Here are the questions. You wanna think about teachers and experiences you had in the past. How did they um, either doubt you or did they inspire you? Or maybe there's one of both. And based on what this chapter talks about with grit, what's your belief about how well you're going to succeed? Question two talks about if you have a younger child or a sibling or a niece or a nephew, what kind of messages are you sending about working hard, about struggling, about failure? Do you think you should change those messages? 
Question three, think about the last time you were in an in-person class and you asked a question. Um, how did you feel? Were you worried? You know, what kind of thoughts went through your head and, and what did you learn from that experience? Question four, this goes back to that growth versus fixed mindset. Do you have a fixed or growth mindset? Which ways do you see yourself? How can you maybe use that to influence decisions? And then question five, have you ever heard about the hidden curriculum? Has you know, someone in your life heard about it? What are things that a college student needs to know that no one tells you in advance? And make a list of those things, like you know, read the chapter before class, or understand financial aid, like make a list. So if you have any questions on the concepts from there, you can go into chapter two and search, you know, hidden curriculum, growth mindset. When you're done with that, you want to save it and upload it into this Dropbox as well, right? So those are the chapter two assignments. I will be back with another video that covers specific, specifically chapter three. Okay, so make sure that you post by Wednesday and complete your mindset 10 to 25 and chapter two quiz by Sunday as well as respond to two classmates here. I'll be right back with chapter three.